What's up guys, this is Junior from CR42 Hunting. You guys saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. We got 50 Bell Wolf versus Shotgun. This is gonna be a really, really cool test. Let's uh, get a little bit closer, Jake, and show them what we got. Show you guys what we got here. Remington, this is a slug. This is 1800, 1800 feet per second. Regular old slug. We got uh, a couple of 50 Bell Wolf. Ammo here, this is 350. I think this one is also 350 grains. That's full metal jacket. And then obviously we got this last one down here. This extreme penetrator is also 350 grains. Then we got our regular old school shotgun here. We got a couple of pavers. We got Jake's 50 Beowulf. And we got this contraption and we'll probably shoot first. So we've done a, a few other videos with this. Nothing has been able to go through both of these walls. So we'll shoot uh, with Jake's 50 Beowulf to see if any of these three can get through those walls, both walls, and then we'll try with the shotgun. And then we'll double back and shoot at these pavers. And I'll let Jake pick one of these rounds and it'll go head to head with our shotgun. So that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so let's nerd out a little bit more before we get to shooting. So this 50 Beowulf, this extreme penetrator, for example, is moving at 1,775 feet per second. That's a 350 gram projectile. And this regular old school slug here is 1,800 feet per second, as fast it's moving. And we did some math, and that 7 eighths of an ounce is about 383 grains. So 383 grains here with the slug versus 350 grains. Uh, with our 50 Beowulf and obviously we got our old school uh, shotgun here. So shotgun slug. So this will be really, really cool. I haven't seen this test done by anybody else. So I'm excited to see what results we get. All right, let's take this shot, Mr. Jake. Wow, she didn't like that. Let's go check it out. So before we get there, did it go through too? No. I don't think no so way. either. But a hell of a dent in it though. All right. Yeah, it, it, uh, it definitely bruised her, but it did not go through both sides. Turned into a beat. Turned into a beat. <laughs> that beat is yeah. shook. Yeah, uh, it definitely, definitely didn't like this, but no, it did not go through. All right, which one of these uh, was that, Jay? That was the 350 grain hollow point. That was the hollow point, okay. All right, so let's take a shot now with the rifle slug, correct? FMJ? Yes, the FMJ. All right, let's do grain. it. All right, second shot, rifle slug, 50 Beowulf. Nasty. Let's go check it out. All right. Oh, I kissed the other hole. So that first one looked like it dented in a little bit more. But at the end of the day, neither of them were able to penetrate both walls. So, all right. Nasty. All right, let's uh, take your last shot with your uh, extreme penetrator. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. That is, where are we at? There we go. 350 grain moving at 1775 feet per second. Let's get a shot of it, Jake. Let's see what she looks like. That is what the extreme penetrator looks like. So let's see if she extremely penetrates or not. Yeah, she didn't like this at all. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it didn't even go through. It didn't go through one. It sure didn't. I mean, it did like it, but it did not go through even one. 
Okay, so now we'll line up and we'll take a shot with the old trusty shotgun and see what kind of damage we get. What you find there? Might be the hollow point. All right. Yep, let's line up and take the shot with the shotgun. All right. Let's give this trusty shotgun a shot. No pun intended. <laughs> it's just so much fun to shoot a shotgun, man. All right. We know we rotated around, and I think, I think you caught it here. So it didn't go through. Now they do make some rifle slugs that are pointed on the end uh, with different tips, etc. This is just a regular old shotgun shell. We may come back and do another video with one of those one day, but that is your shotgun damage right there. So let's grab these pavers. We're going to set these pavers up. I'll let him pick one round from his 50 bell wolf. We'll put three pavers up and then we'll take a shot with the shotgun and uh, see which one does the most damage. All right, Jake's taking a shot with this rifle slug from his 50 bell wolf. Then we'll take a shot with the shotgun, see which one does the most damage. All right, let's do it. Uh-oh. Three pavers were set up on the table. We obviously went through one, two pavers and didn't break the third paper. Got a lot of damage here, but we went through two pavers and stopped on the third. So let's uh, get this old trusty shotgun out and uh, see, what, uh, see what we get. It should be fun. All right, Jake's got the trusty shotgun. Old Mossberg, let's do it, my man. All right. It's just fun to shoot a shotgun, Jake. It's so fun. All right, so before we get a look at that damage, the 50 barrel wolf did crack. I don't know if you guys can see that there, the third paver. So let's see here, our shotgun, we went through one, and we cracked the second one. How much effort you gotta put on that to break that apart, Jake? Not a lot, not a lot. Well, let's see if it uh, cracked that third one, like we got a crack on. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I don't know, Jake. I think. Do we call it a tile or maybe a slight edge to the 50? You gotta give it an edge. To the slight 50. edge. Okay. Slight. This was fun. We'll do some more tests with the 50 Beowulf and the shotgun. It was super fun to shoot. Jake got all the fun today shooting the shooting the shotgun and the 50 bell. We appreciate you guys checking out this video. I'll link above so you guys can check out our 30 Super Carry playlist and our Paver playlist. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Junior, out.